spirited debate has popped up online over food spills on airlines. A member of the Toronto Blue Jays became upset when a flight attendant made his pregnant wife clean up after their kids dropped popcorn. So should parents clean up after their children on airplanes or should that be left to staff? Here's CTV's Sinjin Alexander. Such a simple photo on Twitter, yet within days, millions and millions of views, not to mention thousands of fiery comments. A break for the Blue Jays. It was posted by Anthony Bass, pitcher for Toronto. The flight attendant at United just made my 22-week pregnant wife traveling with a 5-year-old and 2-year-old get on her hands and knees to pick up the popcorn mess by my youngest daughter. Are you kidding me? Those words sparked immediate debate, support, and a whole lot of satire. Thoughts and prayers for the Anthony Bass family. Flight attendants are not your personal cleaning crew. And if you're offered, offering popcorn to children on a flight... That's correct. What do you expect? Don't offer popcorn. Wherever I go with the kids, I always pick up after them. I think they're your kids. They made the mess. If children can feed themselves, then quite frankly, they are sensible enough to be able to pick up after themselves and they know how to pick up after themselves. Anne Elizabeth Burnett is an etiquette consultant. She was also a nanny in the UK and says she would have given the kids a few pieces of popcorn at a time. My thoughts in this situation is that the parent should have cleaned up to the best of her ability and also have the children help her to clean up. They're her kids. Yeah, if I would pick up If it's that. big pieces around you, but to get under the seat. Of course, we don't have all the details of what happened on board, like how the flight attendant dealt with mom. It's the tone of the voice. Here, I brought some wipes. Let me help you clear this up. Bass has since tweeted that he's been in touch with United and then doubled down with another shot. Sinjin Alexander, CTV News, Vancouver.